those points are way too sharp for me to be doing that. <laughs> the highly requested Caliburn Matrix Darts review begins right now. Here we go. Okay guys, darts review time. Now, I hate to do this, but I have to start this video off with a bit of bad news. So, today is Saturday, August 12th. Yesterday, I uploaded that video, the unboxing video, and I showed you guys five brand new sets of incredible darts. Now, in that video, I asked you guys which set you'd like to see me review first. In the overwhelming majority of the answers, I scrolled through the comments section. You guys wanted to see the Melody review first. So, yeah, hey, I don't blame you. What an incredible set of darts. So, again, today's Saturday, August 12th. I sat down earlier this afternoon, started that video. I recorded a couple clips, and then I went to check the stats and dimensions. I put the barrels on the scale. Check this out. First barrel, 25 grams, right on the money. The second barrel, also 25.00 grams. That's when I got a bit excited. I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. Perfect match weight. On goes the third barrel. And that excitement quickly turned to disappointment. As you see there, 23 grams. So shit like that happens. It's not the end of the world. Companies screw up from time to time. But for some reason, they mixed up the 23 gram version with the 25 gram version. And um, so, yeah, that video is going to be on hold. Even though you guys wanted to see that, I thought about still going through with a review. But again, today's Saturday, August 12th. I contacted the manufacturer. I assume they're going to get back to me, and I assume they're going to sort that problem out. Worst case scenario, if they don't, I'll still go ahead and do the review with the mismatched darts. But, um, yeah, again, you know, not the end of the world. I checked all four other sets, near perfect match weight on all the other sets. So, yeah, just um, it's a bit unfortunate, right? But uh, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll sort that out. But, hey, good news. We still have an incredible set of darts to review today. This is going to be a great video. The second most highly requested review, the Caliburn Matrix Darts. So I've rambled on long enough already. Let's get right into it. You guys know what's coming. We'll take a close-up look, unbox these things. We'll hit the stats and dimensions, grip level. I'll get them on the board, throw them for a bit, and uh, that's going to be it for the video. But it's going to be a good one, guys. So here we go. Okay, guys, I want to take my time showing you the packaging here because, I mean, come on, let's admit... It is pretty nice, right? You got this uh, beautiful artwork on the front, changes color depending on which way the light hits it. You've got a window here to show off the incredible Matrix barrel. Yeah, let's see what's on the back. Oh, I really like this. Lifetime barrel guarantee. Again, Matrix starts 21 grams, 95% tungsten. But yeah, we got this fold open flap. We've got this hole on the back. So you push that and out slides the tray. But before I show you the tray, Look at this popular darting lingo. Now, I like this. We've got White Horse, which is a popular lingo here in the United States when you're playing cricket. Although, I got to admit, soccer darts and super scram, I've never heard of that. So, comment down below. Let me know if you've heard of those two terms. I, I certainly haven't. So, um, anyway, there's the packaging. Now, this is what we've got. Look at these incredible barrels. Those are nice, right? I mean, you got to admit. Yeah, wow. So we've got two sets of flight protectors, and guess what? Even though I don't like flight protectors, I'm going to use them. They're here, so I will definitely use them in this video. We've got a set of nylon stems, 39 and a half millimeters, not including the threads. And guess what? I gave these the once over. They are really well made. I mean, the finishing up here, I mean, it's just a really nice stem. We even got the stem rings as well. So yeah, Airfly, never heard of it, but super nice. Then we've got this pin here, metal pin, with the Caliburn logo. So I'll slap that on my shirt when it comes for the throwing part of the video. And then, of course, they come with a set of standard size folding flights, which I think are going to look good on these barrels. But let me get everything put together, and I'm going to hit you with some stats and dimensions. Okay, guys, let me run down these stats and dimensions for you. We're going to start with the points like we always do. And hey, it doesn't get too much better than this, does it? They already come with specialty points, and they stick out of the barrel 30 millimeters in total. So yeah, 
Really nice to see that, and that's about as good as you can ask for. Now, as far as the barrels go, 95% tungsten. The barrel length, which was actually really hard to measure, just because of this perfect transition, there was absolutely no lip for me to get the calipers on, but the barrel length, 48 millimeters in total. Now, the barrel width at the widest point, right in front of the scallop, 7.1 millimeters wide. I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth, and uh, these were drilled out really, really shallow, only 8.5 millimeters deep in the back end. Now, as far as the match weight goes, you guys are ready for this. Advertise at 21 grams, incredible match weighting. The lightest barrel, the lightest two barrels, 21.14. The other barrel, 21.16. So yeah, only two one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. That was uh, pretty awesome to see. Incredible machining here, incredible match weight. But let's get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you all about the grip. Alrighty, grip level time. And I think you can tell by looking at these barrels, they're not overly grippy. I would say it's a mild grip. However, for me, this scallop is finally in the right spot. On a lot of barrels out there, the scallop is in the wrong spot, usually too far back. But with my grip, point to finger and thumb, I think I'm going to be right on that front edge of the scallop. That's going to be pretty much my grip. So I'm going to get a repeatable grip each and every time. And one thing that I really like about the scallop is this front edge. It's not sharp. Either is the back edge. Usually there's like a sharp edge, but these just feel really nice, smooth transition. And um, overall, I'd go ahead and give them a grip level two. Although, I mean, with the addition of the scallop, it just enhances the grip. doesn't make it more or less grippy, but you just do. You get that repeatable grip up front with this tapered whole entire front end. We've got six painted multi-rings. And then look at that specialty point with one of the most perfect transitions I've ever seen. There is absolutely no lip to speak of. Then we've got these fingertip grip points. They're not going to destroy your dartboard, but... If you do happen to grip the point, it makes for a nice reference there. In the back end, we're going to throw these just like you see them. We've got the nice stems. We've got the standard size flights. I'm guessing these are 100 micron. And, of course, we've got the flight protectors, which I hate flight protectors. I think they just look ridiculous. They just kind of cheapen the dart. And on top of that, if you've got specialty points, you really don't need flight protectors because your flights are just going to last for months and months and months with specialty points. So... Hey, they come with the darts, so I'm going to use them, even though I think they're ridiculous. But there we go, guys. I'm going to throw them just like you see them. Again, there's my grip. So let's get them on the board and see how they fly. Okay, here we go. We're going to have a few turns, I guess. Same old five turns that we normally do. Today's a brand new day, Sunday, August 13th. It is just before 8.30 at night. Now, I did have a chance to play with these last night for about an hour. And uh, once I got used to them, they were flying really really well so i did switch up the stems and flights last night i had on the condor axe metallic for a little while but for the review i switched back to the stock setup i did ditch the flight protectors i don't know i just like i said i can't stand those things that little extra added weight on the very back end of the dart seemed to me like the dart was fishtailing so anyway any excuse that i can use to get rid of those but yeah i mean the darts they get to the board so, so quick. Oops, well that first start was good, wasn't it? Hey, there we go. 121 out of the gate. And they're grouping tight. Obviously with the specialty point on here, there's no damage to the flights, even though I used them last night for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. And generally, generally, you know what? I don't like a dart with a scallop on it just because very rarely do I ever find one where it's in the right spot. But this kind of being dead middle in the barrel, not too bad. So I can actually utilize some parts of it. Ooh, just on the other side of the wire. Loose stem. All right, so yeah, they're flying pretty good here. 83. The points, absolutely no damage to the board, but the points do stick in really well. And you know what? They're pretty sharp, which I think I mentioned in the very first, um, first clip of this video when I was doing bullseyes. Yeah, the biggest takeaway for me is just how quick they get to the board. With that scallop, you can almost 
just seems like it propels the barrel to the board. I don't know, it's like I'm pushing the dart instead of throwing it. That makes sense. Like if I had a straight barrel multi-ring dart, there's nothing really to... You, you just seem like you're throwing that barrel, but with this, where you have that ridge of the scallop, it seems like you can propel the dart or push the dart. It's different for me anyway. Wow, yeah, they're, they're zippy to the board. Whoops, cover shot. Hey, third dart saver. Now that second dart, if you look here, it laid over, the flight was laying over to the right. Every so often I just get like a weird release. I don't know, I'm just, again, I'm not totally used to the scallop, but I do like it, I really do. I don't know if it's something that I could get used to, but if it's in the right spot, I have no complaints. Whew, we'll do a last turn here, it's warm. So wrap this up with one good turn, hopefully. <laughs> right in the five. Another one in the five. Can we get one in the 20? Come on, I can't end with a 30, can I? All right, we're gonna extend this video out for a sixth turn. 30, come on. Gotta concentrate a little bit. Good group there. Ha, there we go. We'll end with 100. Yeah, is that, yeah, nice tight 100. All right, we'll take that. But um, yeah, I think as you saw there, for the most part, they're, they're going pretty good. And um, for me, I would just need a little more time to get used to that scallop in the middle of the barrel. But man, once you do, you get a repeatable grip every time and uh, just a very consistent release. Yeah, not too bad, right? But let's roll into the 180 that I hit last night. I'll um, give these things kind of a rating, and then we're gonna bounce. Here we go. tight of a 180 is that. I think all three points are touching right in the center of that treble 20. Wow. Unreal. Doesn't get too much better than that, does it? Great place to end the video. Hope you enjoyed the review of the Caliburn Matrix Darts. Again, I don't have a link for you because as far as I know, these aren't sold retail, but I think I mentioned it in the unboxing video. I may have heard through the grapevine that the Caliburn brand is going to be available at one of your local favorite dart shops. So keep an eye out for that in the future. And you know what? Now is the time of the video where I give these, usually give these a recommendation on how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player because I don't know the price that these are going to be at. And just simply because they're not available in a retail store yet. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. However, I mean, for a scallop dart, I usually don't like a dart with a scallop in it, but man, I like these ones. I think if I was going to give them a recommendation, it would be probably in the upper sevens, low eights, because man, what a great dart this is. And um, I had a lot of fun throwing them. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out for these coming to a dart shop near you soon. We'll see you on the next video. Ah, board is firm. Later.